It's a forever changing environment. Each and every one of our residents is on their own specific individual journey. And so it's important to have that family atmosphere. His heart is into it and he's very committed. What get me excited is that every day is different. The COVID pandemic placed incredible pressure on senior living staff. That's why Commonwealth Senior Living has put a special emphasis on recruiting and retaining the very best employees. Their holistic approach and willingness to invest in people looking to switch gears mid-career is reaping rewards in an industry that is experiencing burnout. To combat it, Commonwealth provides inclusive, associate-focused training programs with upward mobility wherever possible. Let's take a look at that winning HR formula at Commonwealth Senior Living. Joining the team at Commonwealth seven years ago was the best decision I've made in my career. I've had a chance of serving in other good communities, but Commonwealth has taken it truly from good to great. Ruben Canty is a superstar at Commonwealth Senior Living. As the executive director of the Assisted Living and Memory Care Community, he sets the standard for all the associates and the residents for whom they care. We can create an environment where our associates can grow, where we can set an atmosphere, where our residents can thrive day in and day out. I have the opportunity as a leader to pour what I've learned over the years and to each associate and also pour my support into our families and partners that we have. Probably the most important decision for me was actually the executive director. And when I met with Ruben the first time, I could just tell that he was very warm, he was very authentic, that he cared about the residents. Susan Gooden's mother is a resident at Commonwealth. His office is technically on the left-hand side, but he's never there. He always operates out of the glassed-in conference room space. You can walk in and talk with him, you see him out, interacting with the residents and you can tell that he enjoys it. We have an upside down organizational chart where I'm at the bottom and our frontline associates are at the top and really throughout COVID over the last two years that's been our main driving focus is to make sure that we've done everything possible to make sure those frontline team members have the tools and resources that they need to be successful. Earl Parker says Argentum has been an invaluable resource in workforce development. We've been very actively partnering with them in one way specifically as the apprenticeship program to bring new people into the senior living field. It allows us to find people who might not be able to take the time and afford to take the time off to get the training so we can bring them in and pay them to get the training and to get oriented to our industry. Anybody who can see me around them can feel that I really love them, I really respect them, and that made them happy. They know that when we're around it's going to be laughs and it's going to be happiness. There is tremendous mutual respect among associates at Commonwealth Senior Living. Sales and marketing director Stephanie Johnston nominated Yasmin Cuevas Perez to the community's Hero of the Year. She's absolutely fantastic with our residents. I've never met anyone that takes the personal mission to heart to be able to deliver on a daily basis as if they were her own family. She's actually a very unique individual because she's very creative, which fits very well with the position that she's in. My relationship with Stephanie in the building, we are great partnership. And that's how can I say it. We can't partner on anything that she needs. She just needs to tell me what is needed and then we just get it done. Personally, I have found on her a best friend and a family member who can be trusted. Associates know they must take care of residents while also attending to the concerns of their loved ones. I am a very actively involved family member in my mom's care. I'm over here several times a week. And when there's something I have a question about or there's a new policy or anything that's going on or there's a health issue with my mom, I can call Ruben, I can email him, I can text him, and he will always respond. No wonder Susan waited three months for a suite to open up so her mom could move into Commonwealth. So this was a very intentional choice for me. My mom has been here now for over two years and it's been a great experience and I've really appreciated the opportunity to interact with Ruben, to interact with the staff. Of course, no one could have anticipated the impact of the pandemic on senior living communities. 
COVID changed the way that we operated in terms of the precautions and truly thinking a couple of steps ahead on what we need to do to support and protect not only our residents, but our employees as well. Dealing with COVID-19 during the pandemic, there were many different fears from associates, families, and staff. And so in order to meet them where they were, I had to be able to communicate not only to the factual knowledge about COVID-19, but first be able to tear down the barriers of their fear. At Commonwealth Senior Living, the attention to detail never ends. From a music therapy program called Sweet Melodies for residents with dementia and Alzheimer's disease, to high quality meals, and ensuring that employees know they are valued through their compensation and opportunity, there is also a strong sense of belonging here. We have a wonderful set of standards that our company has put in place to allow us to be successful. And so truly being able to love on our employees similar to how we love on our seniors is by far the most important. My best advice for anybody who wanna come to work on any of the departments that they choose to, I know everybody do it for the money and the bills, but these jobs require more than the money and the bills. They require love, care, and be respectful to the elders. We are working for them.